we are on the river again. Uh, I don't even, I haven't had a watch with me in it, in it at least over the last day or so, so I'm not sure what time it is. I would say I'm going to put it at about 9.30 or so, uh, somewhere around there, 10 o'clock maybe, and then we'll find out. I'll find out later on. Anyway, we're heading up the river. We uh, left uh, camp, the lodge, a few moments ago. Uh, we're going up to the canopy. We're going to uh, speak canopy biology today and learn what that's all about. And we're going to have a bit of a departure from the way this program is usually hosted. Uh, Scott Trabitz, uh, the uh, founder, CEO, and chairman, and um, executive and uh, uh, chief cook and bottle washer for uh, Tricom Associates. Uh, will be, uh, I'll be on the canopy now because of the canopy and the way it sways and all that. And uh, yesterday when we were on the canopy, we only took that one level up to 69 feet. But I think we're going to be doing this at five or six levels uh, this afternoon or this morning. And uh, I'm not exactly uh, adept at that. Uh, I do trust in the technology. It looks like a solid, looks like a solid uh, uh, a structure, uh, but there is this way, and uh, I'm a little concerned that I won't be able to speak and uh, and uh, and uh, navigate the bridge at the same time. Scott will be holding on the mic. He'll be doing a tour. Of, uh, I'll have the uh, machine, he'll have the microphone, and Scott will be uh, your guide on the canopy walk. So that's the way we're going to be doing it. Uh, this will uh, this will give you, I think, the best information possible on our on our trip today. That is the story. Again, uh, it's a beautiful day. It's a little less, but it's early yet. It's probably somewhere in the uh, lowest 70s right now, upper 60s, lowest 70s. The sun is coming up bright. It rained again last night. The rain woke me up this morning, and the sounds of birds and the, the sounds of uh, the woods, and that's how I woke up about 6 this morning, and breakfast was about 8.30. So that is the story. And then, of course, we spoke with Linda and Scott, and... Um, and uh, we we did those interviews that you just heard just a few moments ago. Let us uh, let us uh, uh, stop tape right now and uh, and enjoy the ride, and then uh, and then uh, we'll meet up with you at the canopy at Asir. Here we go. Um, let's cut tape. Uh, we have stopped and backing up a little bit and somebody may have spotted uh, somebody up in the trees or something up in the trees so we're looking to see what we see everybody what are we seeing we're seeing monkeys there are monkeys up there but I don't see anything the Sun is kind of bright in my eyes here and I'm trying to see but I don't see I think I hear but I don't see um, looking behind No, I don't see, but somebody spotted a monkey, and I don't see the monkey. Anyway, we're going slowly along. We're, we're pretty, this boat is, how many people on board right now? Uh, besides the uh, Luis, the guide, and uh, and the other gentleman to the front, you know, they kind of steer the boat along if it if it starts running aground a bit. Um, okay, so we have the two of those gentlemen up, up front from Explorama, and then you have Rick Lockridge from uh, CNN. Oh, by the way, uh, just to remind you again, uh, Rick appears on CNN on the main channel. I guess is a headline news, and then CNN uh, news. Uh, he's on his science report is 1:30 to 2 on Saturdays. Then they repeat it on headline news pieces of it. But you can look for Rick Lockridge 1:30 uh, to 2 on uh, CNN in your whatever station uh, in your area. Check your local uh, check your local listings, as they say. Okay, so you have Rick, and then we have uh, we have two folks to the, on the front seat. There. There. Uh, we have uh, uh, Scott Tribitz behind them. Then we have these uh, two folks here, so it's two, three, four, five, six, and then our, our driver behind us. So that's the story, and here we are on the river again. Let's uh, some beautiful foliage and trees here, just some incredible stuff. The vines, sort of like Tarzan, you know, coming through the jungles. It looked like those vines that he would use for his uh, transportation. Let's uh, let's cut tape. Here we go. Take a, I just to notice we go along, Paul, a gentleman, uh, Paul, who is uh, sitting right in front of us, uh, just off to our left in the seat in front of us. He turned around and he said, notice the trees, the uh, the uh, the growth here. Uh, back further towards the uh, towards the lodge, it's secondary growth, the trees and, and, and uh, foliage that had been cut down and is regrowing now. As we get deeper into it right now, this is primary growth. Uh, this has never been cut. This is this is pure here. This is version that hasn't been touched. So this is primary um, growth over here, and further back uh, towards the lodge is secondary 
growth, and I believe that's the I believe that's what he uh, the way he what the terminology was. was uh, so uh, that's uh, that's a little something about the foliage in this area. This has not been cut. This is all as it uh, as it was created. Cut tape. Okay, uh, tag eight. We have arrived at Asir. Uh, the first uh, leg on our canopy walk today. We're getting off. We're Disemboating, disbarking, debarking. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, get off the boat. Here we go. Cut tape. We're up on the first platform, and uh, I'm about to, in just a few moments, turn the microphone over to Scott Travitz, who's going to uh, guide us along as we go. We're up on the first platform, and uh, we're getting ready to go. You recall Scott, of course. Uh, he is. Uh, I guess I'll hand the mic over to him now, and he's got it from here, so here you go, Scott. Thanks, Herb. We're standing on what they call the access tower. The tower height's about 12.4 uh, feet above the jungle floor. Beautiful view, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's kind of that slope that goes up is nice. It's a little tough to negotiate when you're starting for the first time, doing it for the first time, getting that angle. And just walking through the rainforest, too, is very exhausting. <laughs> We're all you. huffing and puffing. You don't realize it, but very but, difficult. But I feel in better shape than I was a few days ago. Oh, good. Okay, good. Okay, so you were giving out some instructions before. What, though, what were those instructions? On the platform, we can't have more than four people at one time. And actually, on the walkway, no more than two people at one time. Um, the folks that constructed it actually said you probably could take six times that amount of people on there, but for safety reasons, they don't really like to have more than two people on there. Okay. And we try to abide by the safety issues. The other thing that they tell everyone is to wash their hands before they actually start touching the rope, because the DEET that comes onto your hand um, decomposes the rope. Mm -hmm. so, DEET being what? DEET is a bug repellent. Oh, okay, got it. Although it doesn't work on me very well. <laughs> okay, the bug uh, attractor you've got. Okay. Okay, everyone ready down there? Okay, we're going to... We are, uh, Paul, why don't you uh, stay in the rear? We'll start walking, we'll start, okay, we'll start walking across, Herb and I. And uh, as you can see, Herb, it's not the uh, sturdiest, you got a lot of bounce as you're going across. But uh, as long as you don't look down, you're pretty much okay. We're not at the highest point right now. When we uh, get to platform six, it's the highest peak in this uh, walkway, and it stands about 120 feet above the rainforest. And when we're up there, Herb, you're going to have a view like you've never seen. The entire rainforest, you get to see, all in one swoop. Now, this uh, canopy differs from one that we had in Belize. Um, we built the one in Belize, the Jason Project did, and the one in Belize, we actually had a climb up the face of a tree. We had steps, not a stairway like this. And we had to uh, have safety ropes. We would actually attach ourselves to the walkway in four different places with safety ropes. From this vantage point, you get some great views of the trees and the insects. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Isn't it beautiful up here? Yes. They'll hardly hear me, but I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> Just incredible. Okay, the walkway kind of takes a little turn here. And uh, Herb, they actually strung the rope from tree to tree. Then someone tight walked the rope to lay the cables. The locals here did a fantastic job on this, and we're uh, slowly approaching the next platform. And uh, when we get off, there's a little step down, so you got to watch yourself. You may hear the cricks in the background as we're pressing against. It's like a suspension bridge here. It's a good way to put it. It's not the Arizona Narrows, but we're going to go up a little for the next flight. And what we're doing now is walking on a platform and a stairway up to the next level, which takes us yet to another canopy walkway. And this is about two flights of steps up from where we started. However, in overall feet, 
Uh, this is tree one, platform one. We're now standing 65 feet above the uh, rainforest. Okay. I'll just take a walk here and we'll wait for some other folks. Well, why don't you talk to your folks? So far, so good, folks. You're listening to Visions, a series of visits to almost everywhere. I'm your co host, Herb Marsman. Our host right now is Scott Trabitz, the creator, CAO, founder, chief cook, and bottle wash at Tricom Associates, which represents Jason Product. Uh, excuse me, Jason Project. And we're on the 10th expedition for Jason. And the voice you're hearing is the expert here. That's Scott. I think uh, I'm an expert only because I've been to the Asir one other time more than you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but have been studying a lot of this for a while. Okay. Uh, I'm going to shut down tape for a moment. We'll conserve a little tape, and then when we get ready to go, we'll go again. Here we go. Let's shut tape. Okay, we're back. And uh, before we start walking, um, Herb and I were just sitting here talking. I was trying to describe this. It's kind of, in a sense, like a swing going back and forth here and you you know uh, it's uh, suspended between two trees and there's a lot of movement between it's not a solid walkway at all and uh, every now and then people come up here get a little frightened uh, it's hard not to get frightened you're way above the jungle and you're swinging and bouncing uh, kind of like a trampoline in places and uh, you're going back and forth side to side but it is uh, probably one of the most spectacular places to be standing as you keep climbing up into the tops of the trees in the greatest rainforest in the world, the Amazon. And you're looking down and around and you see nature's beauty untouched. And I'm going to be quiet and let you hear some of the crinkling. Okay, wow. that's a heck of a walk. Oh, that was something right there. <laughs> we, uh, we're on uh, tree two, platform two. We're now 73.5 feet up in the air, and it's an incredible view. And let's uh, take a hold here. And we're waiting for uh, our other folks. Okay, let's, uh, let's uh, cut tape. Here we go. Take A, we're back. We're going to move off of uh, tree two, platform two. And this is a little tight here, Herb, uh, so you got to kind of squeeze by them. Yeah, I'm stuck, you know, tucking my stomach in pretty good to get by. And then just real quick, you can take a look and see the construction. This is heavy duty cables, really um, thick. And you know, if I make a circle with my uh, thumb and finger together all the way around, the cables are thick and uh, very bolted up. And they're what are used to help suspend these bridges. The treehouse we're in, as you can feel, is real sturdy. You know, you don't really worry about this. And, and now, new signs telling us we're 84. Point eight feet up, really climbing up there. And this is a this is a short canopy now. Yes, this is a real short one. So uh, let's just kind of walk through it quick. There's that spring and bounce under your feet, kind of exciting. You never know which way it's going to go, right or left. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, but uh, we're doing well. Now we're coming up to 85.9 feet. And you can see the board that's telling us that. It's kind of shaking back and forth. It has a lot of give and take. Like us? Yeah. It's got a lot of suspension. We're going to keep going. And this is a real tight squeeze around the tree here. Back and then kind of coming up again. And we're in a circular stairway, but that's squared off. Oh, yeah. And very tight, especially for a person of my size. Girth? <laughs> Girth, okay. As You're, I am, as yeah. I am. Very polite man you are, Herb, thanks. It's, it's a macho way to put it. Yeah. I got some girth, right? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> now, that we're going to keep going because, as you can see, we're getting higher. And this platform you really can't stand on at 97 feet, 46 inches above. Kind of duck your head over here. 
Oh, this has got to turn also an angle. Yeah. This one. Sure does. Okay, here we are. Got the uh, ready for another walk. And we'll come over to this next platform. We'll hang out there a while and uh, let people get a feel again of what it's like up here. Okay, we've made it. We're, we're up here at uh, Tree 4, Platform 4. It's actually a little lower, 90 feet, than where we just came from. And I, this mean, is, I was going to say the two, sort of two by fours laid down, it's the walkway, but underneath looks like a ladder that's been, ladders that have been laid down, sort of rungs in them. That's exactly what they are. They're, they're ladders with rungs, two by four on top of it, or more of a flat board. And uh, then they're suspended by wires. Okay. And this is one of the uh, science experiments they're doing up here with the Jason Project. I thought it was water for us. No, <laughs> you don't want to drink that. That's been sitting out here for a number of days. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are collecting uh, insect larvae in there and uh, seeing what kind of insects are breeding here in the uh, canopy treetop. And that's why these canopies are built. Scientists from around the world come here to discover life. In fact, uh, very recently a new species of beetle was discovered right here, this canopy. It used to be scientists that wanted to discover and uh, check out in the rainforest would have to kind of put themselves in a harness and throw huge cables around trees and harness themselves up. And uh, about 15 years ago a couple scientists got together and created some of the first canopies and uh, this is one of the most extensive and the largest in the world. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it's great. Uh, this is canopy four we just came off? Um, we're now on tree four. Tree four. And that was canopy four. Um, we went from about 95 feet down to 90 feet. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, and then how many canopy, how many canopy all together? There's 13. 13. We'll do how many? We'll do all 13. All right. We're gonna take all 13 on. Okay. We're gonna be able to say, we did, we did the well. Amazon canopy. Um, I'm very excited about that. That's amazing. Okay, let's. Uh, we're waiting, I guess, uh, for some folks. So uh, what we'll do? Uh, you're listening to Visions, a series of visits to almost everywhere. I'm your co-host uh, and uh, fellow traveler, Herb Malsman. Uh, Scott Tribetz is our host uh, for this segment of the Canopy Walk. Let's uh, let's uh, take a break and uh, and and wait for the other folks, and then we'll be heading on. Let's uh, take a break. Here we go. Take A, and we're back here on the Canopy, leaving Treehouse number four at 90 feet and uh, before we start walking this is a little longer and it's got a stairway up so you gotta pace yourself here and we're gonna definitely hit over the hundred foot mark I think when we get to the other side I believe, at this, I believe at this point I have my canopy legs down I'm feeling pretty secure on this thing so uh, so far so good good I'm pretty good good it's uh, once you once you're in place and I find the trick is really not to look down because uh, you know, a hunch. But you're fascinated by what's down there. You, you you definitely are. And when I uh, what I like to do is when I get to a tree house, that's when I look down because you got to keep yourself kind of balanced. Because um, once again, it is like a trampoline. Right now, where we're at, I don't really mean to bounce you like that, uh, her. But uh, you see what I'm talking about. The crossbeam over here has a padding on it so we don't hit our heads. <laughs> okay, coming around. Okay. All right. I'm here. We're about to enter, as you can see, one of the longest platforms. <laughs> this could be the most difficult because of the because of the slope in it. 
the steps and all that. It's a, and it's also very narrow. It can't be more than a foot across at the walk. And then you're holding on to the cables, the, the wiring there, the wires. But it's a very narrow. That's the thing, too. It's also narrow. So well, on this one, you got to be prepared because most of them we see the end. Mm -hmm. From here, you can't see the end. <laughs> yeah, but I got it made now. I got my legs now. So, right. <laughs> uh, and where's our height now? Um, I didn't see anything. It's giving me a height indicator, so I don't really want to say. But we were at 90, and we came up a good embankment there. So I got to believe we're over 100 feet right now. And of course, the floor is dropping as well. Mm -hmm. So, and 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 if you come over here a minute, Herb, this is kind of why they like canopies. They're able to study. See this tree here. The ants, and the ants and the insect patterns and how they live and what they're deriving from these trees. Mm -hmm. and it's something you can't see from the ground. Wow. Uh, you're up in the clouds here. <laughs> and we're okay. breathing a little heavy, both yeah, of us. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to, uh, we're just um, going, we're not stopping the tape because the folks are behind us, so let's move along. Yep. This there we go. We are entering the uh, the longest stretch as it's known I believe we've come to the and this one's got a lot of bounce to it. it's way back and forth but uh, it's absolutely spectacular here I, I, I been up here one other time back in October and it just is incredible the thing about this walkway which is uh, again the longest one is it is because it is so long there's much more sway than the other ones um, so you're bouncing back and forth you're swaying all over it's a swing it's a trampoline all in one and uh, there we are you can see that uh, we now have the other platform in sight no, thank goodness. Um, but at the same time, I'm kind of loving it up here because you're with the birds. Uh-huh. And we're going to stop here a minute. Uh, really? Yeah. yeah well, you and I are going to talk. I want to get your feeling on what it's like up here. The feeling is awesome. It's it's inspiring. It's uh, uh, You feel really one with nature up here. There's... Uh, uh, you're with nature. You're 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 in the midst of all this beauty. All I can say is it's uh, and just look down. And I can't. You can't help looking down. You know, it's uh, you say don't look down, but you can't help doing the the wonder of it all. And it's all green and lush and beautiful. And you hear the sounds of the the uh, nature. And uh, and you, for me, I'm very secure. I back on back on the second one. I got my legs and I said, well, again, I trust the structure. And I'm just going to enjoy the experience. So uh, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful view here. Wonderful well, we're also standing at a tree where you see how, again, these cables. If you put your thumb and finger together and make a big round circle, very thick, and it's amazing. This was all done without any machinery, all hand built. Uh oh, I'm getting off. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is no power uh, this way. Right. They don't know electric saws and electric drills and mm -hmm. so the local guys all do this by hand all this drilling all this roping what also occurs to me is this is the world's largest pharmacy here I mean, there are, there are cures for almost anything that ails you right in, in, in within sight here. And uh, hopefully tomorrow you can take him up to the shaman, who is the local medicine man, as he's known. That would be interesting and, to go see. Um, he has uh, treatments for everything. I actually suffer from psoriasis, as you probably have noticed. And mm -hmm. the, the local shaman has developed a series of treatments. He's never tried these before with psoriasis, and he told me I'm kind of like the guinea pig. Oh, good. It's always nice. <laughs> well, yeah, if it goes well, everything's fine. If not, then uh, let me see. Try calm. What could you talk? He actually <laughs> told me. Uh, he may just have to amputate. And we're coming to a point where we can see the other end of this walkway, but again, very, very long and uh, very, very shaky. It kind of tilts over to the right. Have you noticed that? Yes. And so not only does it tilt to the right, but when you look down to the right, and again, I, I try not to look down either, but as Herb said, <laughs> you can't help it. The right is also where there's like an opening, and then, boy, would that be a big fall. <laughs> it is one of the safest places to be they've never had an accident on these uh, walkways and uh, we hope that they don't have an accident for a long 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 time to come <laughs> all right we are doing another slope up we've gone down and now we're coming back up um, 
as I was saying, we were about 100 feet before, and as you're walking, you probably drop down 15 feet or so because of the sway of the bridge and the weight of the bodies. And uh, what we're doing now is we're climbing back into the treehouse, so we're climbing uphill. Over here to the right is some of the equipment that we're actually using in our TV broadcast. And we are broadcasting. We have teachers and students every day that are out here right doing there. live shows from this location. Mm -hmm. uh, and these kids are up there 13, 14, 15 years old. Uh, they've never no way been up this high in anything and they're out here secure well m most of them have never been out of country and, and why we're here and part of the reason that we stop here is yes. look at this you, you are above the jungle look at this see yeah. as far as you can see the treetops you started at the bottom and now you are in the treetops it's hard to describe and there's another situation where I'm, I'm doing a program and I'm trying to describe and it's hard to, and I'm trying to take a picture here and hold on to it a lot of things and hold on to it at the same time <laughs> and it's very and shaky, do it. it's very shaky up here and I'm not taking a second shot here. You know, you, you, you do everything to try to maintain your balance. Yeah. Um, and you also said it's a one-way trip here. We at S here. Here we go. Um, let's cut tape. Uh, we have stopped and backing up a little bit and somebody may have spotted uh, somebody up in the trees or something up in the trees. So we're looking to see what we see. Everybody, what are we seeing? We're seeing monkeys. There are monkeys up there, but I don't see anything. The sun is kind of bright in my eyes here. And I'm trying to see, but I don't see. I think I hear, but I don't see. Um, looking behind, we are on the river again. Uh, I don't even. I haven't had a watch with me in it in a, a, at least a, over the last day or so. So I'm not sure what time it is. I would say I'm going to put it at about 9:30 or so, uh, somewhere around there, 10 o'clock maybe. And then we'll find out. I'll find out later on. Anyway, we're heading up the river. We uh, left uh, camp, the lodge, a few moments ago. Uh, we're going up to the canopy. We're going to uh, speak canopy biology today and learn what that's all about. And we're going to have a bit of a departure from the way this program is usually hosted. Uh, Scott Trabitz, uh, the uh, founder, CEO, and chairman, and um, executive, and uh, uh, chief cook and bottle washer for uh, Tricom Associates, uh, will be, uh, I'll be on the canopy. Now, because of the canopy and the way it sways and all that, and uh, yesterday when we were on the canopy, we only took that one level up to 69 feet, but I think we're going to be doing a, a five or six levels uh, this afternoon, or uh, this morning. And uh, I'm not exactly uh, adept at that. Uh, I do trust in the technology. It looks like a solid, looks like a solid uh, uh, a structure, uh, but there is a sway, and uh, I'm a little concerned that I won't be able to speak and uh, and uh, and uh, navigate the bridge at the same time. Scott will be holding on the mic. He'll be doing a tour. Of, uh, I'll have the uh, machine, he'll have the microphone, and Scott will be uh, your guide on the canopy walk. So that's the way we're going to be doing it. Uh, this will uh, this will give you, I think, the best information possible on our on our trip today. That is the story. Again, uh, it's a beautiful day. It's a little less, but it's early yet. It's probably somewhere in the uh, lowest 70s right now, upper 60, lowest 70s. The sun is coming up bright. It rained again last night. The rain woke me up this morning, and the sounds of birds and the, the sounds of uh, the woods, and that's how I woke up about 6 this morning, and breakfast was about 8.30. So that is the story. And then, of course, we spoke with Linda and Scott, and... Um, and uh, we we did those interviews that you just heard just a few moments ago. Let us uh, let us uh, uh, stop tape right now and uh, and enjoy the ride, and then uh, and then uh, we'll meet up with you at the canopy.